On today's episode of the Bowser Journal, it's another unboxing. I picked up another tool to help me around the ranch. Come with me and see what I got. I ordered this tool because of my, again, my ability not to be able to deal with a two stroke engine. And when, sometimes when we order stuff from Amazon, sometimes because we order so much stuff, you know, household stuff, dog food, dish soap, stuff like that, because we live in the country. Sometimes we forget what we ordered, and sometimes it's like Christmas, opening up the box. This time, when this box showed up at our door, there was no way in the world that I could not know what this was, because the box had a very unique shape to it. You could probably tell what it is by that protrusion. Yes, I ordered a 10-inch chainsaw. This is the Ryobi P546A 10 inch cordless chainsaw. And I got the perfect test for it too. I've got 11 fence posts that I need to chop the tops off of that will work perfect for this to test it out. More instructions. Again, this is part of their 18 volt line, and like I said, all my tools are based on their 18 volt platform, the One Plus platform. That's why I purchased this. It's got a chainsaw cover. Hopefully, this one won't get damaged like the one on the pole saw did. I won't mention any names on who, who damaged that one. Um, <clears throat> I got a freshly charged battery to put in here, right from our charger. There's no assembly to this. Let's go see how this works. The one thing that did surprise me, the pole saw when they sent it to me, it came with a little bottle of chain lube. This one didn't come with any. I'm surprised. But my, I do have some chain lube out in the shed. So let's go put some chain lube in this and let's go test it. That was 11 fence posts and no effect in performance at all. The battery doesn't even seem affected. I do have a downed tree, so let's go see if it cuts through the tree a little bit better. Let's go. Morning. works it has a slide button on the top you got to push the slide button down to pull the trigger in order for it to work one thing I don't particularly like is you can let go of the slide as long as you got that trigger pulled it keeps going I'd almost wish that it'd be like a safety where it would actually kick off if you didn't have both of them going um, that's the only thing I don't like about it <laughs> 